Hello everybody, I found the solution to resize the recapture element and it's actually pretty easy. As you can see, it's really, really smooth. So back to the beginning, as we can see, um, our recapture is not really well fitted, but it's actually really easy. So uh, we get a script tag in here. We're going to make a scale capture um, function. And we're going to give the capture width, which is gonna be 900 as pixels right now, um, and the container, which is we can get it by jQuery. But if you want to use plain JavaScript, you can just use the JavaScript format. But I'm gonna use jQuery because it's easier. We have to get the container that uh, we put the recapture in. So if we check, as you can see, I've made a div element and this is my uh, recapture element. So I'm going to use G recapture because we, we are going to use the class name of it. And then we get the width of it. And then we check if our width is bigger than the container width. And if it is, then we basically make the scale that we should use, which is really easy. We just use container width slash capture width like this. And if we got that, then we have to apply the transform, which is again, um, we get the, the capture container that we used, dot CSS. And right here we can use uh, CSS. Which is pretty straightforward. We use, we're going to use transform because we're going to use a variable. Uh, we're going to use uh, alt seven, alt gr seven, and we should just write scale, and then we're going to get capture scale. But if you can't use this special character, then you can just basically do like this. It's pretty easy. You just add them together. And then under the function, we should write a scale capture. And then on window resize, what should happen is scale capture. We are done with the majority of our mm -hmm. code, but we have to optimize it to our website. So if I check, as you can see, it works pretty well, but it's really really small so what we are going to do is scale it up which is pretty easy we can do this but if yours is really big then you just basically um, multiply it by 0.57 whatever whatever works for you so i'm going to mu multiply it by three and as we can see it's it's the perfect size but the margin is not really good, so we are going to add another CSS thing. We set the margin, so I want this to be on the center, and we are going to set the capture scale as well over here. But of course, it's not going to work like this because what we have to do is uh, plus another this vh. I'm gonna use VH, you can use pixels, whatever it works for you. So if I check now, as you can see, it works, but it should be, the margins should be bigger. So I'm gonna multiply the capture scale over here by two. If I check now, as you can see, it's perfect. At least for me, it's perfect. You can um, change it however you want um, until it fits your needs. Of course, if you want to use height, then you can just set this to height and calculate by height. I used a width because that's how my website is set up. I hope this helped someone and um, see you later.